So today, I'm taking three steps to end this failed approach. First, I'm announcing a pardon for all prior federal offense, federal offenses for the simple possession of marijuana. Today, President Biden is taking executive action to pardon all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. President Biden said this would remove a burden on thousands of Americans who have federal convictions of simple possession and may be denied employment, housing or educational opportunities as a result. In a series of tweets, the president said, quote, no one should be in jail for just using or possessing marijuana. I'm taking steps to end our failed approach. First, I'm pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. Biden also called on governors to pardon simple state marijuana possession offenses, which reflect the vast majority of cases. He added that it makes no sense that marijuana is classified at the same level as heroin and more serious than fentanyl. The pardon does not cover convictions for possession of other drugs or charges related to producing or possessing marijuana with the intent to distribute it. Biden is also not pardoning non-citizens who were in the U.S. without legal status at the time of their arrest. Now, the Department of Justice is working on a process for those covered by the pardon to receive a certificate which they can show to potential employers if needed. This is considered a very dramatic step toward the decriminalization of marijuana and addressing laws that disproportionately affect people of color. President Biden is asking governors to issue similar pardons. We have reached out to Governor Carney, Wolf and Murphy to see if they will be following suit.